Today I'm traveling south, kind of through central California. Stopped here in San Miguel. Check out one of many nice missions built along the El Camino Real, Spanish colonial period. This is one of the later ones built, but it is still quite old. As you can see, it is a historic landmark. Black here explains this was the 16th of the 21 missions built in California, 1797, so well over 200 years old. Checking out this little garden courtyard area out front. Not sure if these arches are original, but I will say the roof and everything definitely looks quite old. Like most of the missions in California, this one was destroyed by fires a few times, and then here in Central California was that really large earthquake in 2003, I believe, which also damaged the grounds here a bit, so, you know, it's been to hell and back, but it's still here. That was certainly an intended pun, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's cool, an old olive press laborious task of mashing olives down into pulp and then separating the oils. Good old olive oil. I love California. You can really grow just about anything here. This old adobe arch might be original. At the very least, it's, it's old. That is the main church there. Pretty big building. I can't even see the, how far back it goes there, but they've got this little prayer vigil set up out here. I'll be honest, I'm not too familiar with Catholic whatnot and candle lighting and all that, but that looks to be the place to do it. Over here we've got the old original bell tower, still standing. It's actually right off of the highway. So anybody passing by can get a little glimpse of old El Camino Real. I think this was part of a building that was destroyed in a previous earthquake and or fire, but that old adobe bell tower still standing strong after all these years. Ooh, prickly pears. Definitely don't want to touch that, even though they are quite tasty if you can remove all the needles. Yeah, that is quite a sight. Kind of like stepping back into another time, well, other than the cars whizzing by. Van. <laughs> All right, made it back to the cooler temperatures of the coast. Giant rock. It's kind of cool. We are just arriving in Pismo Beach. Ooh, nice. Look at that truck. Random detour. Kind of getting bored of driving. Stopped at Pismo Beach. Nice day. Couldn't pass it up. Freeway kind of led me right here too, so not too far out of the way. Pretty beautiful day. A lot of people at the beach. It's Sunday. Very sunny and warm out, a little windy. I was able to score a fantastic parking spot once again. God, I'm getting good at this, I swear. I can always seem to find crowded beach parking. Knock on wood. Check out this beautiful sunny beach day here in Pismo. God damn. That is a sight. Ponchos. This to be the place to be. Crowded little strip here. These cars are all pretty much trapped. <laughs> Checking out the pier. This is pretty cool. They've got these old Airstream trailers up here converted into like a little makeshift restaurant. Right up here on this particularly wide pier. God, I don't know if I've ever seen one that stretches this far side to side. Like any proper California pier, you can get yourself some grub out here above the water. And just in case, you know, there was any ambiguity about which beach you're in, yeah, they make it pretty clear you're in Pismo. And definitely a beautiful day here. Can't knock it, but it's time to get on the road. Keep heading south. Morning. Starting off my day near, I think, Huntington Beach. A little bit inland, but I'm going to go for a nice little bike ride today. Cruising along the Santa Ana River. I gotta say, every time I drive through here on the freeway, you kind of see this wondrous bike path. Watch out for this guy. Generally, I'm in my car, stuck in traffic, just kind of looking off to the side, admiring it. But 
it's a good path. This river runs all the way from Huntington Beach way up to Angel Stadium. That's how far I want to go. And beyond that even, a good bit. Some of the quintessential Orange County homes I'm used to seeing from my childhood. Just crossing over into Fountain Valley, just north of Huntington Beach. Fountain Valley is actually the town I was born in. Born in Fountain Valley Hospital, 1984. Lived in nearby Westminster, but by the time we moved out of Orange County, I was still a little too young to enjoy proper bike path such as these. Ah, it's gonna be nice. I know once I crest that little hill and see Angel Stadium in the distance, it's gonna, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel right. Always important to get some good stretching in. Loosen up them hammies, quads as well. Got into the dirt section of the tour. Definitely slowed the pace down just a bit, but it's pretty flat. Covering some, covering some good distance all the same. This nursery runs under the power lines. This is stretching on for quite a ways. I think all the flowers in Orange County might come from here. Ah, oh, more dirt. Hey, Costco. Just discovered the path I've been going along over on that side dirt whereas this side is paved goodness I've been sweating through dirt for nothing so I just crossed over here we're about to resume down that way in fact let's go right now we'll fall yeah much better pace on the pavement for sure There are mile markers on the ground, I just realized. Just past mile seven. I think I probably started around mile one though. So probably like six in or so. According to Google, it's about 15 each way. So it should be about halfway to Angel Stadium. Moving along. Oh, that's bumpy. Pretty unique part of the journey. It's a little concrete river I've been riding along. This is where it turns into a golf course. The aptly named Riverview Golf Course. Oh man, this thing is rickety as shit. <laughs> Seriously, feels like these planks are loose. Crazy though. The river just turns right into a golf course. Obviously. You're not a golfer. These douchebags. It's hard to believe this is the same waterway I've been riding along this whole time. From bummy ditches to rich white guy golf courses. This looks to be the end of it. Just checked my phone, that freeway junction just went under. It's the 22 and 5 where those meet up. Which means we are pretty close, crossing over now. Kind of Anaheim, kind of orange. I think we're kind of right on the cusp between the two, but getting close. Should be seeing stadium and possibly the Matterhorn here in the next few minutes. Whew. Like I say it's been a pretty good one. I think this is all ever so slightly uphill, so way back should be easier, I guess. Be the silver lining of that. There she is. Finally reached Anaheim. I say I've never ridden my bike there before. This is a first. Many an angel game. Drove to every single one. 
And they've really cleaned this area up, I gotta say. Sure, there's a homeless person or two scattered about, but hand to God, I have not seen a single tent. All right, made it to El Estadio. Good little ride here, but might as well go a little further. Check out the hats and such. Big old proper to scale new era fitted caps. All right, we've been riding back to the beach and colder temperatures. It's warm as shit out here in Anaheim right now. Uh, my other goal is to find myself a beverage somewhere. Unfortunately, right here, there's nothing. Oh. All right, looks like just down the way a little bit is a jack-in-the-box. Heading there. Ah, oh, for better. Just had about 48 ounces of Coke Zero. <laughs> I actually feel it cooled my body temperature off pretty good. But anyway, about to head back over to the paved side of the river. That being key. Start the journey back. So it should be downhill, I think. A little bit, so hopefully a little easier on the way back, which is good. So I think my sunscreen is about the end of its usable life. And this whole time, there's really been no wind to speak of. It's been kind of nice. I haven't even really thought about it till now. The little wind there is. It's definitely coming from the coast. Sad to say, I am heading straight into it. Ugh, it's not real windy. God damn. Like a giant sail. Ugh. This is, <laughs> this is not going to be the easy downhill trek back that I'd hoped for. <sighs> oh yeah, we sweat. Nice, big eucalyptus trees. So I really cleaned up this area. Used to be some pretty good homeless encampments along this river. Maybe not right here at the golf course, but definitely along it. You could see them from the freeway and stuff. Not today. All right. Get back on the road. All right, here we go. Long way back, straight into the wind. Have to cross a different pedestrian bridge than the one I crossed a little earlier on the path in. By the way, it does look quite similar. Let's see if this one's as rickety. tree down there kind of gives you an idea of what can happen in this area in a proper rainstorm. Not much water down there now, but that is a good sized tree. Oh, nice. I think this is my exit. Van still there, looks to not have been messed with. That's always good. Random Trader Joe's parking lot. Oh yeah. Whew, that was a good one. It's about one o'clock now. 1.30ish, so it's a little about three hours, three hours, 15 minutes maybe. Counting stops. I stopped at Jack in the Box for a while. Got a beverage. Stopped at Angel Stadium. So, whew, man, if I could do it again though. I might, have, might have parked a little bit closer, shortened that ride up a bit. God damn. I mean, I'll take uphill with the wind over downhill against the wind any day of the week. It did not even out. The downhill way was exhausting heading into the wind. But hey, back. My car didn't get ticketed, which is always good. I'm at Trader Joe's, which I know you're not allowed to leave. 
but yeah. it's a minivan. Nobody notices shit. Yeah, not even a mile from the beach at that Trader Joe's, but I have elected to drive the remainder of the way. Utilize the air conditioning. So as I said, we're in Huntington Beach, and good God, look at this guy. King of the douchebags over here, my God. Four Lambo doors on a full-size truck, and you're just going to cruise the parking lot with all four open. Good God. All right, on to something a little more beautiful, a little less pretentious. 100-year-old hydrangea plant. Probably the biggest one you'll ever see. Right up next to this old house. All right, time to hit the beach. Ah, another perfectly sunny beach day. You gotta love it. Love the bike path here too. I think I'm gonna pedal around just a bit more. This path we're on, you can actually take it all the way from Newport Beach all the way up to Long Beach. It's definitely no short ride. Okay, it's hard to imagine that palm trees weren't originally native to Southern California. I mean, something like this is such a common sight here. It's a really beautiful day out here at Huntington. One of my favorite beaches. It's an early afternoon on a Monday. It's still gorgeous. On everything. Oh, here comes some cute dogs. So I get them in frame. Little goldies. Huh. Like an AFI cover in there. All right, heading back toward the pier, sort of the middle of town. Ah, gotta love this place. Sun, outdoor activity, all the beautiful girls, and plenty of angel red to go around. Good tacos, too. I'm a big fan of Sancho's. And one last look at that old hydrangea. Right across from this kind of unique ivy covered house. Pretty cool. Anyway, almost back to the van. Alright, made our way down. Short drive to Newport Beach. As I figure if some is good, more is better. There's some really ridiculous real estate in this area. I mean, this is some of the most expensive houses in the whole state. Just absurd. But anyway, I've once again nailed it on parking. I mean, God, how does this keep happening? Right here at Lookout Point. This is actually at the Corona Del Mar Beach, just south of Newport Beach. The southern tip of it, right over there. It's the little waterway that leads up into the Balboa Peninsula, Balboa Island area, which, like I said, is pretty much all very expensive real estate. So it's kind of interesting seeing all these guys cruising in their yachts and <laughs> private sailboats put up like a, a screenshot of a map here kind of give you an idea where we're at in the world and show the unique layout of the land here Balboa Peninsula the southern end of Newport Beach a yeah, beautiful area it's the Corona Del Mar Beach down there it's be pretty crowded Just a pretty nice view off there to the south just across the street from that same view are these very nice houses, kind of some conflicting themes between these two. <laughs> Odd next to each other. All right, heading down to the beach. Definitely some pretty interesting cliffs and rock formations up here, which if you watch any of my videos, you know, I'm obviously gonna climb up. Let's see here, find the right path. Hang on, I can still get higher. Ah, nice. Sweet little cove, semi-secluded beach. Not a bad place to chill. 
watch the beach, see some of the passing yachts go by. I wonder what, I wonder what something like that goes for. Ah, damn. Cool view though. Definitely see why there were so many footprints leading up here. Alright, back up the damn steps. Soaking in the view. Some of these mansions and shit you see on the coast are just completely ridiculous. Hard to even believe. Looking at it prompted me to do a Google search. What is the most expensive house in Orange County? And it is indeed on the Newport coast. Probably put it on that little island strip of land right out there. It's like the very southern tip of it. Big peninsula, but right along that coast. That is as ocean front as you can get. And some of those mansions are well over 50 million into the hundreds of millions of dollars. But for that money, you certainly do get a lovely view. You can see all the way out to Catalina Island out there. Look it up, it's about 30 miles out to sea, straight line, but you can definitely see it rising up out of the marine layer. Almost looks like it's floating. I like this cool balcony up there on this house. Very pointy. Still working our way south. We're now in Laguna Beach where apparently it is free to ride the trolley. Did not know that. Man, pretty swanky one too. Look at that. Not real familiar with this area, but apparently we're in Heisler Park. Let's walk up here and check it out. Did notice that in some of these nicer beach communities, all of the parking I'm finding is paid. Here was no exception. I just kind of got myself in at a meter for a little bit. Certainly worth stopping and checking out. View off to the north there. Still got a couple hours, but sun is heading down. Alright, I found myself free parking at what promises to be an epic sunset view spot. Still got about an hour or so to go, but chill here for a little bit, have myself a little something to eat. And wait to soak in that view, which promises to be a doozy. Thanks for watching. Please throw me a like and or subscribe.